I'm gonna put some wind on it. Okay, so we're not shooting any of these. These are the 140 green black boat tail hollow point. All right, guys, Skittleboy32 here checking out. So the reason we're doing this video here today is uh, I'm actually shooting from the prone. But I wanted to show you something really cool. Uh, not only are we out here just shooting, but uh, I am testing out the uh, primary arms. Uh, this is their silver line. Yeah. Uh, this is the 3 to 18 with the Apollo reticle set up specifically for the 140 grain ELD. And the magic happens here is this rifle just happens to be set up specifically for the 140 grain ELD. So is this a match made in heaven? It could be. But what we're going to do today is I'm going to show you something really cool. Is this guy right here. Uh, so I'm getting into DMR shooting and we've got Creedzilla sitting somewhere, I think, uh, right over there. Uh, but what we want to do is I want to show you this uh, tripod that I got. This is made by InnoRail, I-N-N-O-R-E-L. And uh, basically, when you do a DMR match, with my vast experience of doing DMR matches, <laughs> uh, you carry a bunch of stuff with you. You've got your bags, you've got your tripods, you've got your bipods, spotter scopes, all that kit and caboodle. So what I'm truly doing is I'm trying to slowly work my way up to... Uh, getting all the cool things that I can successfully shoot a DMR match. And this is one of them. So let's do this real quickly. I'm going to get up, if I can, and show you this. This is pretty cool. And what we're going to do is I'm going to continue doing the zeroing in of this rifle. But instead of shooting off of the bipod, we're going to shoot off of this guy right here. So the inner rail, this is their big one. I'm, I'll put the model number down below. But what you want... When you're shooting, you, me, personally, I want the biggest and baddest I can get. Now, I've already got <laughs> the uh, little loop right here. It's already broken on this bag. Uh, but you want the biggest and the baddest, but you also want the biggest and the lightest. So it comes like this. It's big old 40 millimeter tubes. And you've got uh, neoprene wrap right here. This is a four section, and it will sit 60 inches tall but it'll also hold 80 pounds. So what we're gonna do is I'm going to shoot from it with it today, right here, uh, from a sitting position. And one of the things we're gonna do is I'm gonna show you something else. Uh, this is the top mount right there, made by a company called Really Right Stuff. Now, one of the things that I've uh, used on both Creedmoor, the Creedzilla, and this guy are the Swiss Arca rails. And what a Swiss Arca rail is, is it's basically a rail system, just right here, that's built into the frame, uh, the modular frame system. And all you gotta do, because this stuff actually came from using with, uh, what do you call it, camera equipment. And all you, know, you can do is you can put it in here just like this, and you clamp it down. I can slide it back and forth, clamp it just like this, and I can rotate it. Now, some of these guys come on the big 60 millimeter ball turret heads like you see on the big camera equipment. Uh, I'm not ready to flip that kind of money yet. The uh, really right stuff, the, just the head unit, the little clamp was 150 bucks. But the tripod itself came with this 60 millimeter ball, which I can turn and I can lock like that and go from there. Now, let me go back to here. I'm gonna go ahead and pop this thing loose because I can pull that hole well, I thought, so. I thought I could. <laughs> you can pull this whole... Oh, you got to pop a button over here. Somewhere. Where the heck's the button at? Uh, making a lot... Oh, right here. You can pull this whole thing out, and it's basically a ball, okay? Uh, and what that does is that this bowl, it rotates in there. You can fit this thing with some other stuff. See right there? Okay. Uh... One of the cool things is you can extend the legs by popping these things out. It's just like any other bipod. And I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and start with the bipod in the extended position like this. We're going to shoot sitting. And then what we'll do is we're going to engage some targets out to 1,000. I'm going to go ahead and pop those out like that. This is supposed to provide you with a very stable 
stable shooting position. Put that in there like that, that'll pop in place. We lock that bowl down. Go ahead and put my Atlas CAL bipod in like this. And there we go. And what I can do now is I literally can engage targets easily up to 1,000 yards up on the top of the hill, just like this. So why don't we do this? I'm gonna go ahead and uh, we're not gonna test out the scope today, but what we are doing is I wanna test this thing out. I wanna shoot it a couple times uh, in place. Uh, just real quickly though, they, it does come with some other accessories. And I'll put the link to this guy down below. It's not cheap, but it's not expensive. It has the little disc where you get the little, uh, this is 3 8 inch lug right here. It also has uh, Allen wrenches that you can use and in the spiked feet like that. And those spiked feet are roughly about two inches in length. But what we'll do right now is I am going to put some ears on. We're gonna load up some of this Hornady 147 grain ELDs in this guy and put it on zero. Then what I'll do is uh, we'll take it out, hit some of the uh, steel that they have here on site, and then tomorrow we'll come back out and we will engage targets from 100 to 1,000 yards using the Apollo reticle. I think this would be a lot of fun. We're also going to be testing out tomorrow this Norma 130 grain match grade ammo. Matter of fact, I might just do that today, but I want to do that off the bench. All right, ear balls, here we go. Now, what I'm wanting to do is I want to see, now I've already shot a group down there. Now, I wish I had a bag I could put right here, but I don't. So I'm going to rest off of my knee right here. Hey, that's a pretty stable platform. Uh, not to mention we've got a really good muzzle brake on this rifle. Uh, let's do this. So before we are, we're zeroed in at 100, not much of a change. We are going to get some better uh, ballistic coefficient out of this thing. Uh, let's go ahead and pop uh, targets at 400. That's a nailer. Hey, we got some more. Let's, uh, there was a uh, target up at 500 somewhere. Little itty bitty target. Painted in yellow up there. I can find it again. I don't think I hit that one. Went a little right. I know we got some wind up there on the top of the hill. But uh, what I'm looking at right now, guys, is just how level are we getting this thing? One of the things that we will be doing, and you have to do with the uh, any reticle, is you got to true it up. So what we'll do is we'll probably set a target out there uh, at 800 yards, and we will true it to the 800 because every rifle is different, every round is different, all the environmentals are different. Man, this is pretty nice. Let's do this. Got a little wind coming in. We're going to go 600. That wind's coming from the rear to the front. <laughs> 600 right there. This thing is not moving. Oh, boy, oh, boy, oh, boy. All right, so just in comparison, uh, really right stuff, a tripod like this is going to be about 1,200 bucks, somewhere along in there, give or take 100 bucks. Uh, this one was $299.
And I'll tell you what. Let's, uh, that was six. Let's go for a piece of steel. There's a 12 by 12. You guys probably know what it looks like. A little high. I thought I hit that. I hit that. <laughs> Let's go uh, 900. Oh. Got it. I'm not even, this, this thing's so amazing. Okay, so we're going to go a thousand, why not? I think we went over. <laughs> so anyway, uh, shooting from this position, this thing is just dead on. Uh, you see it's barely moving. This is really, really nice. Uh, one of the things I am going to have to do is true this thing up tomorrow before we do this. I got 40 more rounds of 140 grain after we do this test. We're clearing it. This is it. On the money. Maverick called a ball. Come on! Looked like I hit it. Let's go for the big one. I'm going to hold off after this one. But anyway, you guys get the drift. Uh, let's do this real quickly. Let's do a uh, couple shoot standing shots. You can see this is how far out it spreads. Uh, ow. You can see I'm putting all my weight on it, and it's not budging. So let's do this. I'm going to collapse it down. One. Let's bring it out a little bit more. And let's shoot. And that's the only thing. Another thing is that uh, y'all can't see me. But uh, six hundred yards. Go five. There we go. Well, basically, this is how it looked anyway if I was standing up. But uh, I'll tell you what, a lot of wide range of movement in this thing. Uh, it's not going to get you 90 degrees or 100% up. 
but uh, I will tell you this, I'm really impressed. It's the first time I've shot with this guy, and I have no complaints. I'll put the link down below. You guys, take a look at it. If this is something you're interested in, I would definitely recommend it. It's Cowboy 32. God bless America. God bless his men, women, uniform, 24-7 for our freedom. Freedom's not free. I am out of here. Y'all be good.